Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Monster Core Arcade. Monster Ray Cola K and Arcade with a K. So, Super Bowl Monday. Got a box yesterday. Not too much, but something. I feel like spending a little money, spending some money on myself. Took a little ride out to Long Island, and this is what I found. Got this guy on Facebook Marketplace, and his name is Matt. So, today I'm going to grab this. I remember seeing this a while back. Someone was gonna—I was gonna make a trade for it. For I think I had Tron, and I was gonna trade him for the to Tron. I don't know how many years ago? Same some some guy also in, in Long Island, but then he said he sold it. All right, so here's the man that I that I came to get this from. His name is is Drew. It's Mad Mad Arcades. He's in Long Island. So this is what he has right now. He likes to take you know take them apart, put them to get back together again. You know, do what you gotta do to them. So this one right here, Sopranos. Everybody knows what Sopranos, right? So this is for sale. And uh, what are you asking for when it's done? So when this is done, this will be sixty-five hundred. Um, and I'll kind of show you before and after. I got some games downstairs that are finished, but it needs a rubber kit. The ramp flaps are pretty pitted. Those will get replaced. Uh, flippers rebuilt, fully converted to LEDs. It's gonna be a know. full, a full tear down and be full tear down, yeah. LED and, and all bottom, that stuff. So you know, the whole nine. Be better than new. And uh, yeah, make it make it look pretty again. Exactly. So, um, and then we got over here junkyard, junkyard, with same thing, bunch of broken plastic. So those will get replaced. Flippers rebuilt, full LEDs, lithium battery uh, on the MPU, so you don't have to worry about the alkaline batteries leaking. Stuff like this gets replaced, the broken lift channel, stuff like the dented side rail, you know, brush nice out too. the rest of it. Not too bad over here. It's nice, yeah, pretty no, color. Yeah, uh, it'll, uh, you know, new legs, new casters, new balls, you know, polish up the play field and uh, make it look good. Yeah, I got this Omega Race too, and it's pretty cool. Omega Race, unfortunately, was victim of battery leakage. So Eesh. we got a replacement board coming. Um, and then that'll that'll be up for sale. I, I gotta figure out a price on it, but not in too bad of shape. Nice cabinet. Yeah. Not, yeah. not bad. The spinner too, right? Yeah. Very original. All right, so we're gonna go check out his real stuff. This is just yeah. the stuff for yeah, sale. Is, so we're gonna we're gonna the see shop, the and then we got a real the, deal. The showroom, and then we got storage too. So right. and now he's on Facebook. He's a Facebook guy. He's on YouTube. So his Facebook is Mad Arcade. Mad Mad Arcades. M A D Arcades. Yep. So Mad Arcades on Facebook, and he's selling them. He's got a bunch for sale. If if you look at his past history, I saw a couple of bangers on there. So if you're interested in some pinball, he ships them too, right? Yep. All right. So there you go. Uh, let's check out his game room downstairs. So check out his setup here. Got an Operation Wolf, multi arcade Pac-Man, Lord of the Rings, probably Mint. Got a Wizard of Oz. So here, here's an example of a game that's done, right? So you got your full LED job. That's cool. Yeah, you got your rubber kit on here. You got your Lexan washers that are on the. Uh, the slingshot plastics, just to avoid, because they always get hammered, they always get broken. Yep. Brand new magnet core, what happens with the that silver arc. dot right there. The magnet hits the ball so many times, it starts to bevel, it starts to get misshaped. So that's brand new. Looks nice, man. Got a shooter lane protector in here. Which one would you call this one? Would this be Spider-Man Red? Or this is Spider-Man Red, yep. Color DMD. Yeah, that's we nice. Got Lights speaker lights. speaker, lights around the coin door. That's really cool. So, Did you do this yourself? Your your idea? It's actually a guy I know in Florida. He's the only one that makes them. So and, what does he uh, do? It's a kit they put around it, or it's an actual yeah, coin door? He, he, no, it's it's basically the light that goes behind it, and then he also does uh, lights behind the legs, so you can really kind of light the game up. So how do you, how do you do this then? Can you show me quick? Basically, coin door comes out. You put the light in. This this you can almost feel. You can see the gap. This is like uh, like quarter inch plexi almost. Right. And the lights are inside of there. So when you're when you're mounting the coin door, it's basically a piece of plexi gets sandwiched in between the cabinet and the door, and the lights are protected because they're in that plexi. That's cool, man. And then basically, and then it stays in there with like uh with the screws. With the, the it gets sandwiched right in there with the bolts, just like uh when you when you mount a coin door, when you put a coin door in. You got carriage bolts here and here, here right. and here. So basically pull out, stick your light in, put it back in, tighten it up. Oh, so it's just the, the same carriage bolts? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I, uh, they, gotcha. might, they might come with longer ones, I gotcha. believe. Yeah, I believe the ones for the kit, you get the little bit longer ones, but cool, it's pretty easy install. You know? What do they charge? What does this guy charge? I don't know. 
I don't know what his price was. I believe that he kind of gave them to me because we did a kind of a purchase together. Gotcha. So yeah, we'll talk about that. Yeah, art blades. Yeah, sorry. You know, Who, where'd you get the art blades from? Pin graphics. Art blades uh, were from Retro Reefer in Europe. Oh, Retro Reefer. Because the guy out here does it too. Joe from uh, not Joe. Yes. This is Joe. Yeah. Pin graphics. Pin graphics does them. I've I've gotten them from him before. Good product. He has the lighted ones too, I think, right? Yes. The light ones. Yep. Yep. Wizard of Oz is in actually for a 2.0 light kit. So you can see some of the lights here are out. Some of the lights, uh, I think on the, maybe the upper play field or up here are out. It's common with a Wizard of Oz. Uh, they were known to have issues and they have a, what's called a 2.0 light kit. However, in order to install it, you gotta tear the whole game apart. A lot of work. So it's, it's not something that I would do on site. Typically when customers want them, we bring the game here. Because of how extensive it is, yeah, and it putting it back time. together and trying to troubleshoot everything. This is Ruby Red. It's a Ruby Red, yeah. Heck of a game, but you know they're known for for lighting issues. Yeah. So he wants it, you know, done, no problems. And I said, all right. I said, we'll we'll take care of it. Oh, so this is somebody else's game. This is yeah. This is basically an overhaul. He said, well, so you have it. Got... We're gonna do you know some fresh rubbers. We're gonna put some more plates in. Nice. You know, but the main thing is to fix these lights because that's the whole game. Yeah, he keeps blowing the light board, so it's, you know, he wants it, you know, like anyone with the game, wants it to work. Wanted to work, yeah. So, and uh, he was in over his head when he looked at the instructions. <laughs> so how extensive it is. Jersey Jack, yeah. Yeah, there's a Lord of the Rings, again, nice. home use only, mint, mint condition, we finished the LEDs, all Titan rubbers on here, uh, updated this to the, to the LE. Is this yours or it's another one? Oh, no, no, it's for sale. Everything's for, oh, it's for sale. sale. Everything's for sale. As long as it's not belonging to a customer, it's for sale. Oh, gotcha. So, a lot of people want to put a shaker motor in Lord of the Rings, but you cannot do that. So, this is Spider Man Red's also for sale? Spider Man's for sale. What are you asking for the Spider Man Red? Uh, I believe it is 67. It's not bad. <coughs> it's fully well, done. Now with all the extras. Yeah, fully call, done. Call it DMD. Yeah, the DMD. Blades. And, and yeah. look at the condition of yeah, it. Yeah, it's mint. Beautiful. You know, basically new out of box. Yeah, it looks you good. Know, looks so better than new. Only it's only yet. Yeah, yeah, better than yeah. New. All the upgrades and mods. So the trick is with the LED, with the Lord of the Rings, if you have a regular Lord of the Rings, you cannot just add a shaker motor. You have to change this chip right here, this PALU213 chip, um, and you want to upgrade it to the LE ROM. So oh, to make it LE. Display. Yeah, and then from there, you could add your shaker motor. Oh, um, to put the shaker motor. To put the shaker motor in yep um this game is notorious for weak flippers so you also want to upgrade the flippers because what will happen is you know what you can do for this thing too the light you can just grab one from um an led one from yeah. walmart yeah you can it costs yep. 10 bucks yep um game is notorious for weak flippers you want to upgrade the coils because what will happen is after 20 30 minutes of playing you're trying to make your ring shot and the ball just doesn't make it there. Yeah, don't have power. So it's, you know, upgrade the, the flipper coils and you'll be much, much happier with the game. Gotcha. So, then we got a Pac-Man 61. This is brand new. Trackball, you know, it's a multi-cade, but you know, it serves its, uh, its purpose for people, you know, that don't want to have 60 cabinets in their basement. Yep. The Operation Wolf, uh, that is my wife's. Pretty cool. <laughs> nice. So, uh, Gotta keep her happy, man. Yeah, well, listen, that's why it hasn't been referred. I always refer to things for customers, and then my games are beat up because, uh, you know, it's for me. Yeah, that's so nice. It's, it's still nice. It's one of our favorite games. Yeah, I mean, one day I will be. They got the kids here. here. Son loves got to play. That. You know? That's awesome, man. How's your son? And he is five. Ball fire, man. Yeah, so he is uh, He is all about it. And then his favorite games over here. Let's go see what else he got. Cool artwork here. Nice. Oh. This is uh, this is his pride oh, and joy. Oh, strut, nice. So this was taken out of a warehouse in Monster, Pennsylvania, uh, probably gosh six seven years ago. Um, Must have been fun getting it down here, right? Yeah, it's heavy. This middle comes apart console. Yeah, it does come apart, but this is where the weight is, and it took four of us to bring it wow, downstairs. That's a and monster. We struggled. It wasn't like, oh, we got four people. It, it, it is heavy. Yeah. Um, converted the screen to an LED. I just didn't want to chase problems with the projector for the rest of my life. 
So swapped it out and mounted it in there. Built the so built the bezel around. Sorry, it. Charlie. But he kids kids as as Ty Tucky say, kids go nuts for this game. <laughs> they do. Ty Tucky. And then we got a off road thunder and uh, another tough one down here. That comes apart though, this comes out. Yep, the yeah. nice. Yeah, we got some games in the storage. We got a Galaga, we got uh, another Miss Pac Man multi cage. Uh, I got a Flash, but that's sold. I got a Star Wars, that's sold. Um, Star Wars uh, Arcade? Star Wars Pimble, that is. Oh, Pimble. Yeah, yeah, so. And that's about it. All right, man. I'm not going to keep any more of this guy's time, so I'm going to say wrap it up here. All right, everybody, that's it. So we'll talk to you soon. All right, so I'm just wrapping up the video with him. Um, he's just gonna—he's gonna tell you how long he's been doing this, how long you've been in the business for, and, and how long you've been in the hobby for. I guess so. Yep. How long? 